Okay, so I've um, been requested to do some melodic techno. Um, I've never done any melodic techno before, and I don't really listen to it, so I don't know what I'm doing. But let's see how it goes. Um, I did listen to a little bit before I started this stream, so hopefully I kind of understand what it's about. Sorry if it's disappointing. Okay. I'm just going to start off with like a kick. Um, I have one in mind. Uh, the Rin Rinzen pack. Okay, I don't think I want it to be as long as that because I want some space for um, some sort of bass line over there. Okay, now I'm just going to loop this section. And now I want to hat. Okay, I think I want to make this like do a bit of a shaker kind of pattern. Uh, let's just bring down the volume on these. I think what I can do is uh, some side chain on here, just to give the hats more bounce. There you go. Now I'm just going to. Freeze and flatten that. And I'm gonna add some swing to it because from what I understand of techno is it's all about the drums and the groove. Um there's not a lot much going on outside of that, you know, other than like random little melodic stuff. Uh, whereas with house, you know, it's basically built around your chords and your melody. I think this is more built around the drums. So let's just add a groove to that. That one sounds good. Yeah, I like that. I think I might add a tiny bit of reverb to this. Um, Okay, liking how that's sounding. 
and now I want some percussion in there I want some like um, spacey kind of percussion let me just look for a loop Try that. That's pretty cool. Let's just try to chop some stuff out and just make some variations here. And I also want to put this kind of right at the back of the mix. So I'm going to EQ it a bit. And also put some reverb on there. Just add this groove to this too. Make sure that they're all grooving together. Okay, now I want some sort of um, tonal percussion just to like set the key of the track. So let's just, I uh, don't know, let's search for. Uh, see if there's anything in F. That could work. What I'm actually going to do is put this into um, a MIDI track so that I can mess with the MIDI a bit. It's just a bit easier to work with. Now, time to come up with like a rhythm for this pack. Maybe we can have this coming around and then we can just keep going till there. Uh, 
and then duplicate that out. And now, what this is doing is like it's syncopating with this, so it's not making the basically the uh, bar lengths even. So here you'll see there's a one bar, two bar, three bar, and then the sequence only resets after three bars instead of four. So it feels like it's constantly changing because uh, the bars are not even. Okay, but now we just need to put this into a bit of a space because it sounds a bit dry. Saturate this a bit. this whole loop over. Let's start it there. Maybe we should actually have this restart after two. I mean after after this whole section. So from bar twenty one to twenty nine. Let's just hear how that sounds. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay, maybe what we should do now is just sidechain this to the kick. And then we can bounce it out. Why is that? Yeah. Should we have this one just going down? Maybe two semitones, let's see. Or 
or should it maybe go down to the so that's F if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 go up a fifth and then down an octave Maybe we can play with um, some Echo Boy on here. Okay, I like that. I'm just going to freeze that. Okay, um, let me just group all this percussion. And maybe put a drum bus on there. Oh, that's the kick. don't actually like this echo boy in there. But what I might do is uh, increase the decay on this. And automate that. that much and more gradual let's bring that down to like there to pan this okay should we add some more atmospheric stuff like um sort of a drone or something, should we make one? How about something in Serum? 
make some sort of a pad, maybe playing a fifth. So we have two oscillators. Let's keep it pretty simple. Let's make that a fifth. And make out one long note at F. And we can make it like in the lower mids. to this. And we can add some randomness to this pad using the cutoff. I'm going to take this LFO. slow it down a whole lot. Make it like uh, three bars, uh, or maybe even slow, six bars. Let's see if we can find a, a bit crazy. going to make a side chain group for everything else to go into and then put a compressor on it and just side chain it to the kick put this EQ on bring up the frequency Uh, add uh, maybe a bass line. Okay, this could be fun because I don't really know what people do for melodic techno bass lines. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll, let's just try and make something in Diva. Okay. Um, 
Just wait for this thing to scan the presets. Try and make some sort of a I feel like I want to play with pitch a little bit, like bend the notes up and down and stuff. Um, let's see. Maybe we could have this bend up like. do that. Any control, pitch bend, let's see. Try and make this a bit more of a plucky envelope.
could be cool. Let's try and duplicate this out. trying to make like small variations in the bass line to keep it a bit interesting. And then maybe what I can do is just add a bit of a ping pong delay just to the top end.
So here we have a filter. We can just cut out all the sub from that. So Wait, because this is melodic techno, maybe we're allowed to use more than just one note. Uh, let's see. Oh, this sounds... Maybe we can add some higher and lower notes and stuff. Maybe we can move this up. Uh, let's see. If this goes up... sounds. Might change that later just to add some chain variation to the notes and the timing a bit. Uh, we lock those and then need to add the groove to this and this. So this is like a bit of some weird Arabian scale, just going up from the F to the F sharp. Can sound pretty cool, but I don't know if it does in this case. Maybe I will uh, just keep it like that.
Okay, what can we add next? Maybe some sort of melodic uh, lead. Let's go back to Serum for this. Uh, that's the FX. Don't want that. And um, let's take like a m analog sounding waveform. Some noise. I need to make some like some sort of syncopated arp or something like that. Um, let's just loop this, make it like that. See how this sounds. No, we can loop this. No, not like that. And we looped just this whole thing. Why? This is all I want. Let's try and make something else.
Um, kind of like that. Just need to think of how I can modulate it to make it sound cool. Maybe what we can do is play with the portamento. Let's try and increase the decay as we go up here. And maybe some of the sustain. And the release can also increase. And then towards the end, it's like. thing I just don't like the beginning of this maybe I can just side chain it a bit more in the beginning so that the first few notes are quieter this earlier on so let me just see how this sounds in here work this vocal we can just mess with it and see what we get let's just put it in time what is it 145 and then try and reverse stuff Just like make them like super in the background and washed out and like full of reverb. Make it like 
full here. And then dotted notes. I don't know if I like this uh, me this melody. It's not really doing much for me. Let's try something else. See if we just make a an arp just doing just playing the minor chord. F A sharp C A, A flat.
Yeah, then I think for this section, we need to add like a new hat and maybe a clap. Let's just copy this over. Um, maybe like a 909 hat. Uh, where are those hats? Yeah, 909. That should be alright. Just to change up the groove, let's add a clap. This guy has some nice claps for techno. It's quite a nice one. I'd like that one too. Let's try that one. can add these in the last section and just uh, sort of fade them in so you know that they're coming maybe not all of them just like the last two and just take an auto filter put this onto the group for the claps and have it coming in like this needs to calm down clearly. What's happening over here? What are those? Okay, now this is starting to feel a bit more housey to me. Maybe this hat is doing that.
think over here I'm going to bring down the decay on this just because it gets a bit hectic and also the reverb let's have a little bit less reverb here Maybe we can bring this down a bit over here, so you know that it's that it's coming. Add an actual shaker loop here. Um, I actually have a sample pack. It's called Just Organic Shakers. Now, I think this needs to continue, but we need to add some more percussion. Let's add, see if we can find another nice loop for this. I love these loops. Clap sounds really nice layered with this loop. Let's see if we can try another one.
uh, none of those are really doing anything special. Let's um, let's just add something ourselves. Here's another one in my packs. Ear candy FX. You can go and grab that on Splice. Some of these could be cool to add, like just spaced out. Let's add a few channels. It worked out nicely. That's also cool. Might be cool before each, like, almost like a little fill over here. Maybe with some side chain. Another one. See how the sounds. Can add like a ride over there or something, but let me just. I just want to first add a bit more of these atmospheric hits. Like in a pattern, this, this kind of thing could make a cool little groove, I guess. So, what if we put it like over there and then. Pitch it down a little. Okay, so how long have we been doing this now? An hour and 15 minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this and check out like some song structures because I have no idea how melodic techno is supposed to be structured. 
um, and we'll begin again once I've checked it out. Okay, I think I kind of have an idea of what to do next. So what I think I'm going to do is just copy this out and uh, except for all the atmospheric hits and stuff. Just want the hats, the shaker. Let's see. And then what I'm going to do is um, play with this bass line in the break. Maybe filter some of the. I can actually play with this. Just dampen the high end on this. Bring it all the way down. So I just want to create some sort of harmonic variation in this section. down even more so it's completely filtered out and then do one of these and bring it back in
Let's get rid of the clap on that last one. And then bring it all back in. Could that work? And just keep doing this. Let's copy the baseline and the pad over. Don't need this. I feel like we need some sort of synth fill right on this bar. Right over here. Okay, I'm just going to try a few presets for this. You can get this preset pack at basicwaves.com. Uh, I also made this whole pack. It's got some nice presets. Pretty cool. What I'm gonna do with that. Let's just have it ring out for a long time. And just have the volume fade down. 
So like if I grab a utility, fade that out. Try turning these on and then doing the opposite is fading that in. So. Same thing here with this automation. might be fun to play with. I feel like this needs some big reverb on it. Grab Shimmer again. And I can like mix it in. this here. Maybe we can like reverse this whole thing. So put that up there. That down to an F. Well oh, this one also down to a C. And oh.
Maybe that one can play there. Let's see. Tune can calm down a bit, please. Listen to the break and the drop again. Oops. Consolidating this and applying the groove to it.
long is this whole thing? Uh, that's not very long for techno. Um, okay, let's try and make some sort of intro. We can just start off with the kick and percussion and stuff. Don't even need that yet. if we add this to the beginning. Uh, I could add this over here. could probably just fade in slowly from the intro. The utility. is over there.
and then maybe the outro can just be like that. Just um, go back to the single note and begin to like fade the bass out. These single notes again. Just slowly fade those out. And drop this um, ride, get rid of that. I don't think we can have the bass over here, it just doesn't make sense. There we go, I think that's all right. Um, how much time do we have? 10 minutes for a quick master. Um, let's just grab ozone. Nine. Uh, let's grab the full thing. Gonna turn this down because I have a feeling. Okay, where's the most busy section? Probably here. Okay, let's just turn down the master before we start working on it. Check something. Has this got EQ on it? No. Does it need EQ?
Okay, I think that'll be alright for a little quick master. Uh, we've got five minutes to spare, but I don't think there's much more I can do in five minutes. Um, yeah, so let's have a listen. Ready, three, two, one, go.
I just realized I haven't done any white noise sweeps or like snare buildups and stuff. I think Techno uses those, but I'm not sure. I think it still sounds okay without, you know, sweepy transitions and stuff. Uh, but we could probably improve it with them. Um, kind of out of time now though, and yeah, I'm going to call it. So thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too bad for techno, and I hope you learned something. <laughs>